YouTube, this is all things quick. Today we gotta head out and we gotta go to U-Haul. We're gonna try to get a auto loader trailer because we got a bunch of stuff that we gotta do today. But I don't have a reservation, so basically we're just trying to go there just to see if we can even get one. If we can't get one, then I have a buddy from work that is letting me use his trailer. But for right now anyways, I'm gonna try my best to go get a U-Haul just because it's closer. Uh, my coworker there lives like 40 minutes away, so it would be you know over an hour and a half of drive to get the trailer and to drop it off again. So I'm gonna try my best to go get a U-Haul instead, but we'll see what happens. So I was trying to make a reservation this morning. I woke up a little early and I called U-Haul. The lady was asking me a million questions about what I'm hauling, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what car I'm getting, what car I'm towing, all, all this stuff. I didn't like that, so I said, don't worry about it. Because the thing is, the people at U-Haul where I normally get the trailers, they know me, they know who I am when I call, they know who they're speaking with, they know what truck I have. Yeah, it's getting kind of annoyed with that. The lady was telling me all this warranty and all this whatever she was saying. I figured by the time that I call them back and I call with a credit card and I make the reservation, it's the same amount of time I'd be waiting on the phone instead of me just driving there. So that's where we're going right now. Just going to see if there's actually a trailer there. Hopefully there is a trailer there. Good news, we got a trailer. I'm gonna go over to the thing right now and then I'm gonna get Buddy to put the trailer on my truck here. All right, so now we got the trailer. We're gonna go pick up a couple cars. These two cars that I'm dealing with, they are two cars that are actually at my place right now. So we're just gonna go and pick those up and drop them off somewhere. All right, so I just got the trailer here. I'm gonna grab my stack of keys. Too many. <laughs> now I'm gonna take this BMW and I'm gonna get this over to my mom's because I have everything that I need to fix this BMW at my mom's place. And I'm tired of driving all over town, going back and forth with all this stuff. So this is going on here right now. This car still has some misfires going on. So that's why I don't wanna drag this thing all over town. Oh yeah. It's misfiring like crazy. Yep, good thing we're not taking this across the city without a trailer. I can never get no sleep Cause I just need to get it Man, I need to be The thing that I just painted out Man, you won't go see See my vision, I'll be in it I'ma kill it, I'ma take it down Come in there, I'ma play it now I'ma kill him dark, I'ma play the ball Cause I gotta, 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 gotta just need it Tell these guys that they can beat it I'ma give it, I'ma grab it, man Take it, never so I'm just gonna take the plates off this thing because the only reason that I put the plates on this thing in the first place was so that it doesn't get towed out of my apartment building parking lot. We don't need these on anymore because this is going to my mom, so we'll park it there with the other two BMWs. All right, so I got the BMW all loaded up. I'm just gonna jump in my truck and go and take this thing to my mom's. I've never felt so alive in my life. Cause you make me come to life every time I'm free Oh, and I'm loving all that you do Can't you see? That I'm crushing right into you That I'm crushing right into you Can you hear me calling? 
All right, so now we have three E46s in my mom's backyard. Good thing my mom's not home to see this right now because it's kind of cluttered, but man, these all look great together. They look like they're right at home. So this car, I'm gonna fix this car because I'm gonna have to sell this thing. Once we get this fixed, we'll get rid of it. Might use some parts from the parts car here and try to get this thing done. The sooner we can get this thing done and sold, then we can strip down this parts car and we can start building this car. Because this was the whole plan was to start building this one but I need to do a couple things first in order to be able to get going on this one and this is one of the things I have to do so it is what it is pretty much everything that I need to fix this car is here either on one of these cars or in the shed or behind the shed all my stuff is here so it's just a good thing to have this over here I was sick of driving all over the city we're just gonna fix the car here finish it here park it here when it's done fully done and fully fixed and drive it back over to my apartment and then I'm gonna park it until somebody wants to buy it and we also have another car that we're working on and we're actually gonna go pick that car up right now and we're gonna drive that car to a different location because as you can see this it's kind of packed in here it's kind of full so Bet you never know. Say we have the power but this thing for touch the road tell them say we ready click them on the cut she load she don't know say we no regular anything we ready for bet you never know Bet you never know Now go take no talk I beg no pardon That's for sure all right, so I haven't showed you guys this car, but this is also my car. This is a 2006 Chevy Cobalt. This car was actually gifted to me. It has an electrical problem. It has a parasitic draw. So that means that the battery is draining from it doing nothing. When it just sits there, the battery drains. So that means that something in the electrical system is drawing energy from the battery and it's dying. Right now we have the battery terminal disconnected just so that the battery doesn't die. But if we connect the battery, which is right under here. Then we have power. And that's a brand new battery that is there. The people that gifted this car to me, they basically just said that they don't need it and I can have it if I can fix the electrical problem. So we're gonna drive this over to a different location and I'm gonna park it for now. I'm gonna deal with the BMW first, but this car definitely will be up and coming soon. Just something that can fund the E46 330XI build. There's some stuff that we gotta do, like fix the rust in there, rip out these rocker panels, put new ones in, bondo, sanding, painting, stuff like that. Like that and then we'll get this car ready to sell after we fix the electrical stuff but it's super nice clean interior I think this thing will be pretty easy to sell so this thing starts up no problem it's actually a super nice car. I have to fix that electrical problem so then it's not an issue. So I know for a fact that it's it's charging when it's running. So that means that the alternator is good. So that's good news. But right now I'm just going to load that up onto that trailer real quick. So I don't know if you saw that, but definitely did a little bit of scraping. I guess that's what happens when you deal with cars and not trucks. Things scrape when you load them on trailers, but that's okay. So these as well are old plates from, I think these are from my Audi. I'm just gonna take these off because the only reason I had these on, just like the other car, was so that it didn't get towed out of my parking lot. Just gonna pop these off and then we'll be on our way. Bet you never know. Bet you never know. Strapped up, ready to go. Car is secure on there. Got my plates, we're good to go. All right, so we just got the car to where we need to put it. I'm not gonna tell you guys where this is because this is private. Basically, I'm just gonna take this off and then I'm gonna park it. And then that's it.
All right, so I'm just gonna park this thing now and then we're gonna be on our way. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the video right here. I know it wasn't too much and it wasn't too exciting today. We just had to shuffle those cars around and get them to where they needed to be. So in the next video, we're gonna dive into the BMW. We're gonna try to sort out those issues that we're having with the misfires and power steering. Hopefully get that car running well so then we can try to sell it so then we can make some money to fund the build to start building the engine on the 330XI. With that being said, this is the end of the video. If you like that video, definitely hit that subscribe button because we're doing a whole series on this. We're doing a start to finish series. So if you haven't checked out my other videos, I'll leave a link right here. You can watch the videos prior to this one. Hit that bell notification so that you can stay up to date with all the stuff that we're doing. We're going to be building this car start to finish and documenting every little bit of it. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you like that video, leave a thumbs up. It definitely helps me a lot. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying the content. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of all this stuff and what you think of the other videos and share it with a friend so then you can get them interested in this build as well. This car is going to be a monster by the time it's done. So that's the end of the video. We'll see you in the next one. See you later.